Hey guys, Chubby of Shadow Beast Brewery and coming at you with a video response. Um, I just watched uh, Relaxed Homebrew and I saw his troubles with the auto siphon. So I'm just going to do a quick explanation of what this is and how it works. Well, as far as I understand how it works. So let me get down to it and I'll show you what, what's crack lacking. Okay, so this is the auto siphon. I'm just showing it to my little mini one and I'll try to give explanation. So this is your end bit. This sits on the end here. This will stop or limit the amount of tube and hot matter that will go into your auto siphon. Here's your inner shaft. This is what the beer or water will go up and to go into your fermenter. And this is your main shaft where the, what helps create suction. So inside here you'll see there's a little, I hope you can see it, a little plastic valve. You can see it shaking there. Now this helps you create the suction. So here's the complete unit. So you have your inner shaft that goes inside. Now, now, people. And then you have, that's your complete unit. So as you can see, hopefully, you see your little dangly unit inside there. That's your no return valve. So when you push, okay, let me just start it like this. When you pull up, it's creating a suction. So it's bringing the wart into your tube. So that little valve is open. When you push down, it's pushing pressure back down. So therefore it's closing that little valve so no water can come out here. So therefore, because it's closed and you have the pressure, uh, the, the, the pressure coming back because you're pushing down, it needs, the water needs to go somewhere. And the only other way is to go up the inner tube and out here. So that's how it works. It's a very simple no return valve. So I'll show you a quick explanation here. This is the thing I'll start saying. So now it's empty, right? So, so up, I'm, I'm bringing water inside and I'm pushing down so therefore it's closing the, the inner valve and it's causing it to come out. And that's how you, that's how the auto siphon works. Very simple. So all you have to make sure you have that little inner valve inside there and it should work no problems. So there's a very simple explanation of how uh, auto siphon works. So hopefully that guys helps you out. Hopefully that explains a little bit more for you. Rex is home brewing. Um, I'm not a rocket scientist. You know, I'm not very clever at all. But hopefully that makes sense because that's how it makes sense in my head, which is not exactly the greatest thing. But yeah. So this is Chubby from Shadow Bees Brewing explaining how auto siphon works. Cheers, fellas.